What's up, everybody? Be right back at it again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Red Not because it just came out with another briefing. This one is briefing number 54, Sins of the Father. Let's just go ahead and hop into it. It starts off with saying, Attention officers, welcome to the 54th edition of our bi-weekly newsletter. This week, we'll be talking about our upcoming map, Sins of the Father. Our new devlog will be dropping monthly alongside our newsletter starting next month. Cool. Can't wait to see it. But moving on here. The first sin. Taking place after the attempted assassination of the U.S. lawmaker by a group of disenfranchised veterans, Sins of the Father brings the team to a devilishly opulent penthouse suite, packed to the brim with some of the toughest hostiles that the LSPD has come up against yet. This is a very dangerous proposition when the LSPD's past victories include a squad of well-equipped ex-military veterans, a large complex filled with deadly paramilitaries, and an incredibly well-entrenched ex-USIA officer. I'm pretty sure these are referencing all the other maps that we played before this, if this map takes place after the penthouse map, which is interesting. So this probably is going to be one of the toughest maps and ready or not. But we have a picture here, what seems to be a hallway in the new suite that we're in, which reminds me a lot of the older photos, which a subscriber shared with me. Let's take a look at those real quick. So this is like the original concept art or the original photos of this level that I think they showed previously. I mean, it kind of looks like it, to be honest, and we have like a little bit of a gif of it. They're messing around. Then we have just like a little picture right here of some of the artwork that's on the ceiling right there. It definitely looks a lot like it, or at least a condensed version of it anyway. It could be the same map, but I'm not entirely sure. But underneath this, it says, The long halls offer little cover from very aggressive hostiles. Make good use of shields and doorways. Yeah, I could definitely see this being a pain in the balls, a kick in the nuts, a slap to the face, trying to like find cover while you're shooting down hallways. Those are just the worst. I can't wait to sink my teeth into this one. Moving on here. The Sinners. The capabilities of the hostiles contained within sins will show from their rock hard morale meaning the bodyguards will be some of the hardest suspects in the game to peacefully restrain requiring the team to carefully clear contain and cuff each suspect with great care this combined with their powerful weapons and individual uniforms purposefully selected to resemble the civilians within the map means sin will be a tough nut to crack so are you telling me that these guys are going to be wearing civilian uniforms Oh boy, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. We got another picture here underneath that shows like some sort of living room or a uh, waiting room or not too sure, but it is very green. And ceilings, green walls. We got like some sort of compass in the middle with a uh, piano on top. And what's going on in this corner over here? I don't know. We got these two cat looking sculptures. I find that interesting. But underneath this, it says the golden inlay furniture and decoration betray the level of wealth only attainable by either the incredibly lucky or the incredibly dirty. I'm pretty sure it's the latter, but uh, uh, we shall see moving on here currently to add an even deeper layer of challenge we are experimenting with giving the ai on sin the ability to deploy non-lethal throwables oh my god the exact same types that the lspd bring to bear on particularly ordinary when the need arises adding yet another sound that a team will need to carefully listen for my biggest problem with this is that we aren't able to run away. The only way that we could stop the effects from taking place is if we just turn away and look away from the explosion, but we aren't going to be able to run out of there if they throw it right at us. So that's the one thing that the suspects have over us is that they can run, but we can't. So I don't know how that's going to work out, but what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know. Moving on here. Though there is a silver lining to the increased capabilities of the hostiles. Their conventional training means that they will not hide under beds or closets and will not crawl through available throw fares. Is that, is that how you say that? On the map, bring any responding officer to direct their attention elsewhere. Well, I guess that means I won't have to be looking for them. They'll probably just be coming right at me. So what this map basically sounds like is active shooter on steroids with multiple suspects. But anyways, video dev blogs. Starting next month, we will be aiming to release monthly video dev logs detailing suspects detailing subjects that would be poorly served by a static newsletter or vastly improved via a video format the coming video will mainly feature information relating to the mocap for all characters and ready or not with the intended release date being july 17th in addition to the monthly devlog videos that will be uploaded to our youtube channel we will be delivering more news about the state of the supporter edition going into the future and a much more clear picture of the future of the game that our team worked so hard on to build our community has worked so hard to nurture Nurture. and they show a picture here of a guy doing mocap right now dang he's got a lot of weights and stuff in the background that's kind of cool but underneath the picture it says our mocap artist aaron starting this session with a t pose for our first set of mocap shoots cool 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 in conclusion this concludes their 54th briefing be sure to tune in next time for more development news and yeah with that all being said like i 
I'm kind of excited, you know. I'd like to see what this map is all about. What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know. It's another short one, but uh, you know, some good stuff in here. Can't wait to see the devlog. See what's that, see what that's all about. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm gonna end the video. Thank you all for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.